Ant-Man family. <laughs> Look at you. Hello, my name is Victoria Rose. Welcome to my channel. Today, I have Steffi here. A lot of you guys know who Steffi is already, and I haven't seen her for three years, and this is her dog. Oh. <laughs> Ollie. And she... <laughs> he just wants kisses. And she uh, built her own van out of a sprinter van, uh, so she did all of this. And I'm gonna show you guys, or she'll show you. Let's, yeah. let's um, do a, a nice little tour. We're in Liberty State Park right now in New Jersey, and it's really a beautiful scene, but it's a bit uh, overcast today. Let me show you the ins and outs of Steffi's van build. Okay, so let's do a, a quick van tour. I know that she put the whole process of her building it up on her YouTube. Is this just like a, yeah, these are like panels, right? Yeah. But so this is the little, let me just show you the general areas. This is the little sleeping area. This is the bed and, oh, let's show the table. So she has some outlets there and table. Pull out table with storage underneath. And then she, this is her sink area. And a shower. And you can shower. You, I guess you could take this outside and have a shower with it. I'll demonstrate. Shower? <laughs> It'll be somewhere private to get a naked shower, I guess. Oh, cool. This is the fridge and it's, it's um, ran by solar power, which I assume is on top of the bed. Mm -hmm. I'll have to try it. <laughs> it's somewhere up on top of the fan of solar power. So this is a fridge. Kind of gross. Ooh, it smells like vinegar. That's <laughs> probably why. <laughs> Something spilled. <laughs> tent for oh. if you want to take a shower and have a little bit of privacy. Oh, so you have that tent and you can use that with the shower. Yeah. Good idea. Ooh. And then the bench, the bench opens up more storage, which is good. You need a lot of storage. Mm -hmm. And then... Then you have more storage underneath there. And up here. More storage. So this is where your clothes are. Or mm -hmm. toilet, paper. Paper. <laughs> toilet paper. And then she has, um, what's this? This activates the fan. Oh. This looks futuristic. I like it. Oh. Nice. Oh, it really smells like vinegar in here now. <laughs> Sorry. And then obviously this is for the lights that she has on. Mm -hmm. The little LED lights. These lights. And the little lights right here as well. Well lit. Very important. Is it hard traveling with a dog? Kind of, because he has to take so many bathroom breaks. Yeah, because he has a puppy. He's only two months old, so he's going to get big. He's going to be like the whole size of this <laughs> area. <laughs> for cooking, she has a stove somewhere back there. Stove. Yeah, like a little camping stove. So, so she, she has, um... I have a bucket for emergencies. <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> but I usually just use public restrooms. Yeah, whenever you're traveling in a van, it's kind of like if you're in any developed area, they have bathrooms. So you don't really need to have the toilet in yeah. your van. How long did this take to build? Like three months with my dad's friend helping me. Yeah, it'd probably be really hard to do by yourself. That's a lot of things to learn, but you probably learned a lot of how oh, to... so much. Yeah. Now you could probably... Do you think that you could build your own after doing this one? Or I do think so, but I don't think I'd want to because it was so much work. So you, she bought like a pretty new sprinter van and then converted yeah. it completely because it wasn't... There was nothing in it. Yeah, it's actually a Ram Pro Master, which is kind of like a sprinter. Um, oh, so it's not a sprinter. Not technically, no. It looks like one. <laughs> Yeah, it was completely empty when I got it, and I added everything and customized it exactly how I wanted it. And how the, does the gas do again? Was it's the like gas? 18 miles per gallon, so it's not bad for a van. That's nice. It's much better than a lot of RVs that I've had. Yeah. They get, they're horrible on gas, but this is this is like sustainable. Like you can actually, and it has solar power too. So I feel like um, you can probably have like electricity like consistently mm -hmm. which uh, you don't have to like plug it in all the time it's 400 watts of solar so oh. it powers like the fan the lights the and fridge, fridge. Um, 
the sink. So if it's not like that sunny out, does that not work anymore? Does it store it enough to where? It still stores enough. I have two batteries under the bed and so okay. they're both powered and they stay powered for a pretty long time. So when it gets really hot in like the summer, do you have a way of like cooling it? Is it just the fan? Just the fan. I have like a buddy heater, but it's under the bed, but it's powered by propane. Okay, so that if works. it gets really cold, I can use that. Everything is thought of. There's a curtain right here that you close off whenever you go to sleep. There's curtains on all the windows. I assume this was cut out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so it was, it was. It didn't have any windows. So is that yeah. cut out as well, or is that? Yeah, we cut all the windows except the back ones. Okay. That was probably hard. <laughs> to do that. It was terrifying. Oh. Powers the inverter, which is what powers the LED lights and the fridge and stuff. Okay. The storage goes all the way to the back, mm -hmm. so you can open that trunk and then access it. Yeah, and then under here, the water tank's on this side, and then all the solar stuff is on that side. And then in the middle, there's just storage like for all these dog food and stuff. Okay. And, and that's my lucky hiking stick. <laughs> I was going to ask what the stick's for. <laughs> I found it on a hike. and I That's her Gandalf stick. I can show you my favorite part, which is the tiles above the sink. These are just stick on, but I feel like they make it look so much fancier. Yeah, I was, I was thinking that as a kid. But... And then my art teacher made me this to match the bench, Aww. the sunflowers. That's cute. Pretty, it's pretty spacious. Like, you could do activities in here. <laughs> That feels very comfortable, yeah, which is sometimes an issue with like... It's a full-size mattress. If you guys have any questions or you want to know anything else about Vans, I don't know if I covered much, but you can either go to her channel or you can just ask them below and then I'll try and find it out, but I don't really know. I have a whole series of videos on doing the whole build. Yeah, so she has tons of videos on this and then... If you want to know how to install solar panels or anything, you can check those out. Like, you're, how tall are you? Five eight. She's five eight, and she's has plenty of room. Ah! They have the viewage of New York City. Uh, it's yeah. probably it is a pain driving in the city with it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just it's huge. I hope you enjoyed this tour. Big thanks to Steffi. I love you guys very much. Stay extraterrestrial, and I'll see you later.